Hello, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257, and this is a review of my G.I. Joe collection. In this segment, I will be reviewing the figures that came out in 1982, starting with the carded figures. Here we have Breaker and the Cobra Soldier, which is just called Cobra here. The Breaker is the straight arm, original. The Cobra is swivel arm. Here we have the Flash and the Cobra Officer. Both of these are swivel arm reissues. Here we have Grunt and Rock and Roll. Again, both of these are swivel arm reissues. Unfortunately, this rock and roll is heavily damaged by UV rays. Here we have Scarlet and Short Fuse. The Short Fuse is the 1982 original straight arm. The Scarlet is a swivel arm. This one is a Canadian issue. We have Snake Eyes and Stalker, both of which are straight arm originals from 1982. Snake Eyes still has his Hudson's Bay Company uh, price tag on there, seeing as he's a Canadian issue. And unfortunately, Stalker's bubble is a bit cracked. And finally we have Zap, a 1983 reissue. Here we have the figures loose. We have Zap and his bazooka, his helmet and his backpack, Stalker, his machine gun, Snake Eyes, his explosives, pack and this Uzi. I always want to call it a purse but it's an explosive pack. We have short fuse with his helmet, his visor, his backpack, his mortar and his move removable stand. We have Scarlet with her crossbow, rock and roll, his machine gun, his bipod and his helmet, grunt, his helmet, his M16 rifle and his backpack, flash, his helmet, his visor, his backpack, and his laser rifle. Breaker, his helmet, his headset, and his backpack. A Cobra uh, soldier with his uh, rifle. A Cobra officer with his machine gun. And the mail-in Cobra commander with his plug-in laser pistol. All of which come with their various cards. up of some of the figures here in threes.
Here we have the classic variation in Zapp's bazooka. In the early 1982 figures came with a two-handled bazooka, which was very hard for the figures to hold. As a matter of fact, many thumbs were broken just putting that thing on. 1980, late 1982, and all throughout 1983, the figures came with this bazooka. In 1986, Hasbro decided to reissue some of the earlier figures. A nice little folder here. This is the Canadian version. I believe the US version had a full color uh, pamphlet showing all the early figures. I believe just 10 of these figures were released. And this represents one of those figures. Hasbro actually used as a test to send back and forth between uh, various Hasbro offices to test the minimum amount of packaging needed for this before they sent it out. So this Hasbro tag is actually dated August 1985. That's quite a bit before they actually, uh, they actually sent these out or even advertised them, I believe. Early 1982, we got mail in Cobra Commander. This is what the box looks like. This has Cobra Commander stamped on it. It had various uh, stuff, various uh, other offers, and file card, and of course the figure itself. In Canada, this is what we got. We didn't get a box, we got a padded envelope. Mine is dated. Uh, October 15th, 1982. This is the uh, file card with the flag points actually cut out here. But, uh, of course, I don't know if you can actually see this, but the figure in the bag has the updated and common Cobra symbol. And this figure here, he has the original first run uh, symbol which is a bit crude and of course the newer one is quite a bit more aesthetically pleasing anyway. And that's it for the figures and on to the vehicles and figures. <laughs>